At a time when the three armed services have suspended operations of Hindustan Aeronautics built Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter, a Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter Mark III of the Indian Coast Guard crashed after takeoff from the Kochi airport today. The Indian Coast Guard has said that an incident of forced landing of a Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter took place in Kochi today, while the pilots of the force were testing the helicopter. The chopper was at around 25 feet height when it had to make a forced landing. The Pentagon has received an application from General Electric, seeking permission to share jet engine technology with India, to jointly manufacture a 98 kN baseline F-414 engine for India's 4.5 generation plus Tejas Mark II fighter program, and also develop an uprated core that can generate 120 kN thrust to power Indian Air Force's AMCA 5th generation fighter jet and Indian Navy's Ted BF 5th generation minus carrier borne fighter. The Pentagon has taken up the matter with competent authorities, and the proposal is moving at a fast pace, due to the urgency shown by General Electric, which is keen to expand its business in India with a mega deal for 400 engines initially, and nearly 1,000 engines will be locally produced for each fighter program throughout its life cycle. India has started the first phase of Super Shukhoi upgrade program, and some of its Su-30 fighters have received software-defined radios to ensure secure communication between fighter jets ground installations and OACs. The major upgrade work will involve the installation of new mission avionics on 85 aircraft initially, followed with 65 aircraft in later stage, and they will get HAL-developed open architecture mission computer, display processor, internal EW suite for radar warning and jamming, digital map generator, Drew TDR-118 radar warning receivers to improve the electronic warfare capabilities, two wingtip mounted high band jammers for high band jamming, a belly mounted low band jamming pod, and the Utam Mark III Acer radar. The Indian Air Force hopes to receive the first Super Shukhoi aircraft by 2025, and the full-scale upgradation will start in 2027. The CEO of Indo-Russian firm BrahMos Aerospace has confirmed that the BrahMos NG missile is undergoing development, and it could conduct its first test flight by end of 2024. The BrahMos NG air launched variant will weigh only 1.5 tons, that will allow the Tejas Mark 1A to carry two BrahMos NG missiles, and the Su-30 to carry four BrahMos NG missiles. BrahMos Aerospace is also looking to make a hypersonic variant of the missile called BrahMos 2K, but it has not been able to get Russia on board this program, while the DRDO is testing the indigenous hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle that will become a full-fledged weapons program by 2025. Private sector firm Reedan Systems has developed a multi-purpose tethered drone known as Pehra, that has an endurance of 10 hours and 300 feet operating height, and is designed for low-altitude long-endurance surveillance missions. It is connected by a cable combining ground power and fiber optic voice data link, and comes with a gyro-stabilized camera payload with integrated image recognition, artificial intelligence and advanced detection and tracking capabilities. It can work in GPS-denied environments, and the use of optic fiber link for data transmission makes it hack-proof, and ideal for military applications at forward operating bases. ISRO's heaviest rocket LVM-3 lifted off earlier today, carrying the second set of 36 satellites belonging to UK-based Anuweb Group, while the first set of 36 satellites of Anuweb Group was launched by ISRO on 23rd of October 2022. <laughs> Oh, my God.